and welcome to NT NewsNet Now. I'm Kaylee Stevens. And I'm Corey Majors. BP has announced that it will take financial responsibility for the crude oil cleanup off the Gulf Coast. The global energy company says it is responsible for the oil and dealing with the cleanup. BP officials say the plan to lower a 74-ton concrete box to stop the leak will take another six to eight days. The multinational oil corporation is the fourth largest in the world. The University of North Texas has one of the largest international programs in the country. The program has high hopes of getting each student involved in university activities. This African dance ensemble is not just a performance. It is one way to get international students involved and focus on something other than schoolwork. One graduate student, Wuin Tian Lim, says she first got involved by volunteering and she now works in the International Welcome Center hoping to encourage students to participate and feel welcome. We want to help them to feel home when they are in UNT. There are several opportunities for students to get involved with campus activities like this. But Lim says many international students only focus on schoolwork. The first interior design major here from Dundee, Scotland, Graham Kennedy, says he came here to learn as much as possible. It was because of the difference in teaching style and the way you had to work. I was really interested to try something different. Kennedy spends most of his free time working on homework and projects. The International Students Office is hoping to get more international students involved in activities and programs. Lim recently received the UNT's Outstanding International Student Award for her work with UNT International. She says that getting involved is the easiest way to make a family here in the States. You have friends from all the country. Now you want me to say which friend from which country I can just say out. Lim says UNT has been a good platform to help get her involved in the community. And although she will be returning home, she will always have her memories. Memories are continuously building for one local business. Although one man has been through tough times, he is continuing to keep his business running. NT Newsnet's Gabrielle Burkhart is live in downtown Denton with more. Gabrielle? This small business has been tucked away in the Strip Center for years. The owner has been able to thrive in Denton by offering something unique to customers. Joe Powell opened his business at this spot in Denton 12 years ago. Customers at JP's Boot Repair can get just about anything they want made out of leather as well as repairs. Powell calls his craft a unique one in town. There's not very many of us do what I do, so I'm, I kind of got a little, little headway there, you know. You take a raw product and make something useful and, you know, you're productive, so it's a lot of self-satisfaction in doing it. Most days, Powell has the shop to himself. He works while his dog Stubby keeps a close watch. Powell hasn't always been on his own. Years ago, he worked right here across the street at one of Denton's oldest western shops where he got hands-on experience with Weldon himself. Cowboy Hall of Famer Weldon Burgoon is in his 54th year of owning Weldon's saddle shop in western wear. Powell worked for Burgoon as a teenager. Now that he moved across the street, Burgoon says there are certain things that keep them from competing. As far as doing custom work belts, bill folds, or anything else anybody wants made out of leather, well, uh, I send people over there. On the inside, these businesses seem timeless, but that doesn't keep the owners from considering their future markets. Well, it's pretty hard to see around the corner. <laughs> uh, you don't know what the next phase or craze might be. Burgoon says when he started his business, there were four feed stores within three blocks of here, and horses were the main business. The future may be unclear, but both men are hopeful that their businesses will continue to be as successful as they have been in the past. Live in Denton, Gabrielle Burkhart, NTNewsNet.com. A new law being proposed is hoping to cut as much as $500,000 for the Denton School District. Denton Record Chronicle reports the possible changes in the school day start and end times. The proposal will cut maintenance costs and operations. Also, it will greatly cut bus waiting times at Denton schools. One elementary school in the area has a brand new class, but in this class, the teachers become the students. NT NewsNet Scott Brown is live in Aubrey with more. Scott? Gym teacher Neil Beater says he got the idea for this program by watching a fitness boot camp at the recreation center where he works out. And his initiative really has the teachers here at Savannah Elementary breaking a sweat. The teachers of Savannah Elementary are used to being the ones to give instructions. 
but they have to take the instructions in Coach B's after-school teacher boot camp. Neil Biediger is the gym teacher at Savannah Elementary. He donates his time every Monday through Wednesday to run a free fitness boot camp for the school staff. Biediger says he wanted to give something back to the dedicated teachers of Savannah. Maybe something to help relieve a little stress, especially at this time of year. It's a stressful time of year for teachers. Biediger uses everything from the gym to the gym mats to run the teachers through various exercises. He also takes the 30-minute workouts outside whenever the weather is nice enough. And the teachers appreciate how the boot camp makes them feel. After a stressful day, it kind of makes you relax before you go home to your family. The exercises focus on different muscle groups from day to day, and they promote competition, interaction, and cooperation among the teachers. The boot camp has already had a clear effect on staff morale. You can definitely see that they jail better uh, and that they just have something in common uh, outside of work. Uh, that has really uh, made them come together as a better team. Biediger was recently named staff member of the month here at Savannah Elementary. His co-workers wanted to thank him for his time and efforts to better their personal lives. Live in Aubrey, Scott Brown, ntnewsnet.com. The new UNT coach and his co-workers hope to spike interest in volleyball this summer. They've implemented new programs for youth players to become part of the Mean Green family. Every Sunday, about 100 boys and girls scamper around inside the UNT volleyball facility. Newly hired head coach Ken Merzek says he needed to boost the program's visibility in Denton, so he created the Mean Green Juniors. We started a clinic um, for free for first through eighth grade girls and boys uh, to try to build a relationship with the community. Participants pay $69 for the five-week program, and they learn from athletes on the UNT varsity volleyball team. UNT players, including Kelsey Robbins, have volunteered to coach at the clinic. Robbins says sometimes she gets more out of the coaching than the younger players. It helps me enjoy, and enjoy the game. Merzik says he coached clinics in college so he could sharpen his own skills as a player. Freshman transfer Marissa Morton feels she is doing the same thing. How we, as players, learned you know, through older players, they're teaching us what they've always uh, known. And so now we get to be a friend to them. And teach them what we need, we get to know. Around the Denton area, a number of camps and clinics are available, but players say the Mean Green Juniors program boasts Division I coaching, and it offers an opportunity for higher learning. They can go to other camps and, and just have fun, but not learn anything, but they're definitely going to have fun and learn stuff here. Merzak says the team will host a number of summer camps through June and July. He hopes campers will stay interested in following the volleyball team for UNT this fall. Kayla, you, you play a little volleyball, right? Yeah, those camps look like they'd be pretty good for those girls. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Kaylee Stevens. And I'm Corey Majors. See you next time.